Well, hello everybody, it's Ian Marshall. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Whew. Now, if you've been following me for some time, you know that back in August of 2018, I moved into my very own place. I was really apprehensive about moving in by myself, dealing with all of the alone time, and of course, all of the responsibilities that come along with living on your own. And fast forward six months, here I am living in my own place, absolutely loving it. So today I thought I would talk about some of the pros and of course some of the cons that come along with living on your own. So if you are considering a move, considering venturing out on your own, maybe you've secured a place, maybe you're thinking about getting a place, who knows? So if you'd like to hear the good, bad, and the ugly of living on your own, then keep watching this video. So jumping right into it, probably the best pro of living on your own is the ability to belt out any song that comes to your head whenever you want, wherever you want, without any judgment. Now, primarily for me, this happens in the shower. But on the flip side of the coin, if I get a little too into it and happen to fall straight on my behind in the shower, it's all on me. There ain't nobody coming to my rescue. Maybe in time you can be that but right now me and you are through the next best pro is coming home every single day to absolute peace and quiet and being able to unwind in your own space, sitting on your throne, AKA the couch. But the downside of that is not having anyone to share your immediate excitement with. For example, when Fiona has a new love interest in Shameless, you just have to deal with it all by your damn self. Another amazing thing about living alone is that you only ever have to clean up the mess from one person. There's no mess anywhere that you didn't create. You can leave laundry in the dryer as long as you want to. You can throw clothes on the floor if you feel like it. You cannot make your bed for 10 days if you feel like it. It's all on you. But unfortunately, you're only one person and honey, life ain't cheap. And just like you can create all the mess that you want, all the bills that you've created are due at the end of the month. Another pro, especially for me, is that you get to design your entire space exactly how you want it. You get to pick out your colors and your theme and all that jazz. But when you decide to buy that brand new piece of big furniture, you better have some friends on speed dial because you gotta call someone every time you need help to lift something heavy or to hang something up on the wall or to put something together. Especially if you're like me and you're injury prone, always best to have a backup. Another amazing thing is that there are never ever any domestic altercations. There's never any awkwardness. You're never pissed off at the person you live with. And because of this, you could probably use a little bit more drama in your life. So unfortunately, you become way too obsessed with characters from shows on Netflix. It's a serious problem. I am obsessed with Netflix. The next thing, a little more risque, but you have complete and total discretion and privacy for where and when romantic encounters take place. But on the flip side of that, there's absolute sheer terror for how you would go about dealing with a break-in in the house. And finally, you become extremely independent. I mean, you literally do it all. You kill bugs, you do your laundry, you do your cooking, you may do your cleaning. You unload all of the groceries all at once so that you only have to make one trip. And because of this, you wonder if you're ever going to be able to incorporate somebody into your perfect routine. And I mean, after you've done this for a while, it's hard to imagine anybody coming in here and messing it all up. So listen, if you are considering a move out on your own, I definitely recommend it. Everyone should do it at least once in their life. The most important thing that it teaches you is how to be comfortable and love yourself. Obviously living alone, you end up spending a lot of time in here. You get to do a lot of thinking, a lot of soul searching, and of course, a lot of Netflix as well. I 
am obsessed with Netflix. I can say without a doubt, this is one of the best things that I have ever done. It's liberating, it's wonderful, and it gives you absolute control of your own life. Again, something that I think everybody should do. So I hope this video has helped you, whether you're, like I said, considering a move or maybe you've moved already and you're trying to figure out if you're just that damn crazy, you're not. It takes a special kind of person to be able to do what we do. Anyway, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to click that big red subscribe button down below. There's a little bell right beside that. If you'd like to click that, you'll get a notification each time that I post. I post new videos on this channel every single week and I would love it if you would join the party. If you'd like to follow me off camera, you could do so on Twitter or Instagram. Both of those are just at Ian R. Marshall. And let me know in the comments down below what moving out on your own has done for you. What pros and what cons have you experienced? Maybe we'll find some common ground. Anyway, again, I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.